Hey there, welcome back. Now in this lecture, let us talk about logout or indirectly I should say how to delete a token. So the first thing I am going to do is I am going to create a new API view and let's take post request. And then here all I need to do is create a logout request. So it should be logout. And then I'm going to accept a user or if you want, you can use logout underscore view. This is much better because I don't want to override any type of common names. Once that is done here, I am going to test if the request method is post or not. If this is post, then we have to do certain task. Let me add one more line here. Yeah. Now, if this is a post request, I simply need to delete the token. So all I have to do is use request dot user. Now remember dot user is our existing current user, which is logged in. So if you jump here onto documentation, scroll up a bit. Uh, this has been discussed multiple times about this request dot user. It is about the current logged in user. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to access this request.user and then all I have to do is access its authentication token and then I need to delete it. That's it and here I am going to return uh, I should return a 200 ok response so it is response I should define status and I also need to import status first. So what I am going to do is I am going to import status from my REST framework itself. Now I'm going to utilize this status dot and this will be my HTTP 200 request. Yeah, that's it. That's all we have to do. This is our logout function and then we need to create its URL. So let me copy this one. And I need to add it here. So this will be logout. Uh, here we need to import our logout view. And I'm going to call this as logout. That's done. So if I try to, uh, here I have logged in as example five. Let me see here, jump back to my token. Yeah. So here I have example seven. Let me try to access something with example seven. Take use my example seven, send a get request. I got it. So it's John. The review is from John. And if I try to send something similar, uh, I need to visit my logout request. So my logout URL will be something similar. Let me copy this one. Visit here instead of register. I need to use logout. And with my header, I need to pass my authorization and with my token, I need to pass this information. Now, if suppose you registered, you got this token, you try to access multiple page and then now you are trying to log out. So once you click on this send, okay, we cannot perform get because we created this as a post request. So let me jump back, send a post request and here we got a 200 OK response. And if I jump back, if I try to refresh again, you can see the example seven token is deleted. Now, if the user login again, if the example seven login here, so let me try to log in. It's going to be post request. I'm going to be example seven. If I send this request, I got a token and this is a new token. So if I refresh now, we got a token. With this token, I can access anything. Maybe I want to access this. It's working fine. So let me delete all the other tabs. This is my login token. This is review token. This is registration. This is logout. So now if I send a request with my old token, it's not going to work because it's an invalid token. I can only send requests with my new token after I log in. Now, if I send request, you can see it's 200. Okay. This was logout and our token is deleted. 
So that's how the complete process works. We register, we create a token, we can access all the pages. We log in, we create a token, we can access all the pages. We log out, we delete the token. Now the next time we log in, we are going to generate it. So this is pretty well. The only downfall, the only downside or I can say the only problem with token authentication is it sent one extra request every time to verify our token. Since our token is stored in our database, so it sent a request to our database to verify this. But this problem exists uh, for someone who currently have maybe millions of users and more. Otherwise, this is going to work fine for most of us. It's a rare problem for maybe top 0.1% of people who are using Django REST framework. I hope this lecture was helpful. Now you understand about this complete process of logout. So this complete section was focused on login, registration and logout. And we have done everything from basics now. Now in the next lecture, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this app from A to Z. We are going to discuss everything in the form of if we missed anything with our previous views. So we are going to test everything. We are going to check every view again and then move forward with further topics like pagination, filtering, throttling and more. So I hope this lecture was helpful. Thank you for following and I see you guys in the next one.